All right, we're here with another playthrough of Time Lanterns. We've made some changes since the last Kickstarter, so we wanted to show you how all the new mechanics work. The newest things that you're gonna be seeing are with the Enforcer, it now has some actions. It'll either flip a tile or it'll cause a revise event to happen. So as we go, you'll see how that works. Otherwise, a lot of the mechanics are the same. You're just gonna see us play a two-player game and see how it goes this time. I lost last time, so here's my time for some revenge against Lee. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna go first, Lee's gonna go second. I'm playing as Jikanuza, Lee's playing as Tacticians. I am Kylan, he is Laren. I'm the red character as usual. He's the yellow character, that's why we have those two. All right, when you're setting up, first player gets $5 in one time gem, second player gets $5 in two time gems, third player and fourth player would get other things as well. Next thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna deal out two side jobs to each player face down. I can look at them, but Lee won't see them. I can hold them in my hand. I can have up to three, but you start off with two. Those are my starting side jobs, set those aside. And then the next thing that you do is reserve an event. You go with the last player and work your way back to first player. So since Lee's the second player, he gets to reserve an event first. So you can reserve any event based on his goals, his side jobs, all that kind of stuff. He'll want to decide which event he's going to reserve. He's going with dentistry. So he picked his card. I flipped that over. Now I get to reserve one. So he picked dentistry. That was a good one. I probably would have gotten that one, but there's still some good ones out. Um, I usually like to look at the older events, to try to work towards those. Uh, I'm going to go with the art of war. You reserve it here on your reserve space on your player board over that card. And then we're going to reveal the first location that the enforcer will go to. As you can see on the card now, there are two different types of actions. This is just going to flip the tile that the enforcer goes, goes to. So when the enforcer goes to the capital, we will flip that tile before it goes to the capital. Otherwise it works the same. You can't go to the location where the enforcer is at. All right, we're about to begin. I'm gonna do my first move. Each player gets three moves on their turn, up to three moves. You can do less if you want to. I don't know why you would, but you could. I am going to move to the engineer and pay a dollar to get an upgrade. You can upgrade your time machine so you pay less time gems. So I wanna pay less time gems on the repeat ancient. And then I will go to the bank and get $2 because it's always good to have money, need money for this game. And then I'm gonna to go to the lab, but the lab lets me transport. I'm just gonna transport right to the hospital. So fast travel to the hospital and get a med kit. So one, two, three. Imagine some the technician that's in there is like, are you sure? It's like, right next door. Are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> well, I'll start with the tailor and get some disguises. It's funny, I think about it sometimes, like, I'm gonna go in the past, no one's gonna recognize me, but if I'm dressed as the future, then people will be like, hey, he's dressed kind of funny. Witch, he's, yeah, a witch. he's a witch, burn him. <laughs> All right, let's get some time gems, cause you know, time travel ain't cheap. Yeah, you always need time gems for time travel. And then I gotta protect myself, right? Nah, it's gotta capture these events. Yeah, you have a disguise, but they won't notice that you have a gun from the <laughs> <Yeah>. future. <laughs> All right, so I went, Lee went, one, two, three, one, two, three. And now we are gonna do the enforcer. So the enforcer is gonna go to the capital, which is going to rotate to the other side or flip to the other side. Then we will reveal the next one. All right, so this is another action that the enforcer can take, which is the revise event. So you're gonna revise, which is this symbol underneath the logo for the social. And then you are gonna flip over all the city tiles. That's just to remind you to flip over all the city tiles. So at the end of this round, we'll flip over all the social or yellow city tiles, and we will revise the oldest social event, which right now is Caesar, unless one of us gets that one. It won't affect us this round, but as the game goes on, it could end up affecting our events. So this is like one of the newer things, right? So the enforcer will do a revise just like a normal player would. Correct. Cards, Only instead events. of keeping the event, the enforcer just puts it at the bottom of the deck and you reset the event. It also helps you see more of the event cards in case there's a lot that you don't want to see and you don't always want to have to go to the courthouse. Yeah, because he's, he's basically trying to counteract what we're doing to the timeline, right? He's trying to fix it. Like, hey, right. stop that. Go to go to archives and get two attaches. And then I'm immediately gonna give up one of those. Let's see. 
Um, I'm going to need, so I'm going to need two communicators, which are expensive. So I'm going to get the communicators and then I'm going to go to Taylor, spend a dollar and get two disguises. I also need to hide my identity going <laughs> into the past. So one, so engineer, I will get my upgrade. I will also make it easier for me to capture some ancients. Go to the bank, always good to have some money. And the lab. So this one, I'll go a little bit further than you did. Surveillance, and what's that? Two for a camera. All right, so now we are going to do the courthouse, which I said was Caesar, none of us got it, so it will be this event. We don't have any yellow events, so it's not affecting us this round, but we do see a new card now, which is the Great Fire of London, and we will flip over all of the social city tiles, which could change up the available actions thing, and then we will reveal a new card, and that goes to the courthouse. So the locksmith will also revise green on the next one. Oh, well, let's see. I can't go back in time without some gems. So I will pay a dollar for two time gems. And I will also get a gun to protect myself. <laughs> and get a gun. And I have time gems, but I think I'm going to make it just a little bit cheaper and get one more upgrade. And I think I'm going to go that direction. So I'm going to go there based on my side jobs. Mm. All right. If you ever lose track of what round you're on, you can count the enforcer cards because they will be one, two, three. So we are in the middle of the third round. All right. Let's go to the archives as my one and get my little briefcase there. And then we go to the market. I'll get a communicator. More disguises. And then even more disguises. Man of a thousand I faces. I don't want them seeing me. <laughs> okay, so that's the end of that. So. Once again, no events yet, but we will revise the oldest cultural, which is the building of the Great Pyramid. And then we will flip all the green city tiles. And yes, you flip the city tiles, even if there is somebody on it. And then we reveal a new market and it's just flipping over. All right, let's see what I shall do now. I'm going to get a time gem and then I'm going to repeat an ancient, which is going to cost me two time gems. And I'm repeating this ancient because that's what I reserved earlier. I'm repeating it because that's my goal. Where am I going to put it? I think I'm going to put it on the here because that's my next move. Didn't revise it. So nothing flips or changes or anything happens, but I do get $5. So I will get $5 for that. I will turn in my gems. It's going to cost me an attache case, a med kit, a disguise, and two communicators. So that was two. And then three. I will do that. And now I my ability happens after I pay my time gem cost. So I get two items and I'm going after the invention of gunpowder. So I already have a disguise and a gun. So these two would be a gun and a communicator, which is going to cover that cost. So I don't need to pull those out of the supply. That's where they would have come from. And I'm revising this one. I think I'm going to go after some moderns. So I'm going to put that on modern and I get $5 for that one. And I revise blue, so we're going to flip all of the blue city tiles. The city changes. If Lee had any blue, he would, but he does not. And let's see, that was one, two, three. 
and I achieved this goal, that doesn't achieve that goal, but I got a side job for that. So I revised the middle age blue, so I achieved that side job. So when you achieve your side jobs, that's a new thing now too, unlike the other playthrough that we did. Now when you have your side job and you achieve it, you reveal it, and you're automatically gonna get those points at the end of the game. So one, two, three, that's it for me. So I feel like that was a pretty good, pretty good move, if I do say so myself. Okay, uh, can't let you be alone traveling through time. Sure you could. <laughs> yeah, what? I, I can be the only time that you're doing anything. <laughs> All right, I will revise an ancient. Revising an ancient. Are you doing your dentistry? He I is am. doing the dentistry. So I know that that's the oldest event. So I know that's gonna affect mine. So I'm gonna have to rotate mine. However, that actually helps me because now I am meeting my goal. So thank you, Lee. <laughs> but he is revising. So I will flip over the blue tiles that we just flipped over. However, you notice that the engineer, one side is green, one side is blue. So it actually will stay that way because now we're only flipping the blue side, so. All right, so I paid. I need to get my money. That's only his second <laughs> That's move. That's my second move, correct. I had a plan and I have enough. So I will now revise. I get two things, so let me get some cameras for now. Oh, forgot right before I did meet a goal there. So there's that goal. And I'm going to revise the Great Fire of London, 1666. No I yellows. I have yellows, but I can flip over these yellow tiles. And that I need some more disguises. I told you these disguises come in handy. <laughs> more disguises, that's revised. You flipped yellows and I get $4. And I got another side job. All right, one, two, three, I flip this over. So we move the enforcer to the market, but before we send him there or her there, we flip over the market. And the bank, so yellow, is going to. Okay, I'm gonna head back to the headquarters. I get a gem. I'm gonna go to the jeweler. I get some more gems. So that's my second move. And now I'm gonna go this direction. Ah, always with the disguise. <laughs> get a disguise. <laughs> We're gonna get a disguise. I need some direction, so I set myself up here to get some direction. I can reserve, but before that I get two side jobs. One, two. Let's reserve this event. So let's turn one. Can't get anything with just cameras. So let's go back, get a time gem, and engineer. One for an upgrade. We will do that. One, two, three. We reveal that. Caesar crosses Rubicon. All right, but the bank, before the enforcer goes there, we're going to revise. So we find the oldest event, which is Columbus. And that is 1492. So that will cause Lee's card to rotate, but then actually helps him, I think. It does. And then we will flip over the city tiles for yellow. Move the enforcer to the bank and draw the new card. A new card. Locksmith, but just flipping the tile. All right, let's see. What round are we on? Round five, six, one, two, three, four, five, round six. Round six. Usually games go 12, 14 rounds if you want to plan for that. So I'd say that we're maybe halfway depending on it, where we're going. So <laughs> if we're going to 12 rounds. Okay, I'm gonna need some side jobs. Lee got some, I shall get some. So you can hold up to three side jobs at a time. I still have one. So I can draw two. 
I'm gonna go to the market and turn in my disguise and get a communicator. And then I'm gonna go to the archives and get a attache. Alrighty. Go to the hospital. Medic. Just visiting my fellow Time Lancer here in the archives, doing our research. Get out of here! Get out of here, you. We can visit. You can end, there. end your turn on the same spot as somebody else. And mark it. So let's see. Let's exchange one for one. So I'll do a camera for a communicator. Locksmith for the enforcer. We'll flip that over and then he'll go there. And then we'll jeweler. 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 Looks like it's the invention of the heavy plow at the moment, which would affect me. It doesn't look like it would affect Lee though. I think I want to, while it's available, I want to have thing. Uh, go, go here. What? Pay one less gun, pay the communicator, and then I would get two med kits. I, I was like, what can you buy? <laughs> but I- You gotta chain I your, like, chain I, your I, uh, So I'm revising 1347, which should affect the Great London Fire. Um, I'm gonna put that on rotate. Okay, which gives me this goal, and I get $3. One, two, and then we're gonna rotate all and removes my goal. So the goals in the game aren't permanent. As time shifts and ripple effects happen, you could end up losing your goal. That's how you can affect the other players like I just did there with Lee. Now I don't think I have enough to do anything, but I wanted to make sure I got that. So I will go back. So you can go from Time Lancer headquarters to your time machine and back all in the same round because it's like, your time machine is inside Time Lancer headquarters. So think of it as you're getting inside your time machine and then getting out of your time machine while still in Time Lancer headquarters. So I get a time gem and I reveal that. And that's my, oh, I almost forgot. I got a side job for that. That's why I wanted to do that. All right. Um... I will disguise. Then I know ahead of time that the enforcer is going to the jeweler. So definitely don't want to end my turn there, but I can just visit. So. Oh, you can go to the jeweler. Let's visit I the don't jeweler. Care if you have to lose <laughs> oh, yeah. your turn. <laughs> All right. So did that. And then I could come hang out with you in headquarters, but I'm going to get a gun. <laughs> Yeah, so you can't end your turn on the same spot as anybody else except for Time Lancer Headquarters because that's your your main hub. So everybody can go there. Well, all the Time Lancers can go there. The Enforcer can't go there. So now we are going to revise the plow, which is going to affect me. But not me. So while you're doing that, I so will... I'm going to rotate my card, which means I lose that goal. And... What's in store next? Laboratory. Laboratory. So I'm going to go to the engine here and spend a dollar. Start, because I'm going to have to get that gunpowder back to the other side. So I'm going to make rotate as cheap as possible. So free, can't get any cheaper than <laughs> that. And I'm going to go to the laboratory. And right now it's on copy. So it's not transport, it's copy. And I need some red cards, but all those red cards are way too expensive. And I want to try to end this game sooner. So I'm going to copy the action of the courthouse right now, and that's to reset all of the red events. What if I, what if I needed it? Well, it sucks, <laughs> sucks to be you. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that was two, one, two. Okay, I'll go to the hospital and get a med kit. Okay, uh, one. And I will get an upgrade. Put it on rotate. Lee's copying me now. <laughs> yeah. uh, right. Headquarters. Let's 
get my time gem. All right, and then revise. So I'll pay and I get two things, but this only costs two things, so it's free. Uh, let's see, 1944, so I gotta slide that over. I don't have any red, but I will flip the red to the tile. Thank you, sir, and I will collect my money. I believe I met this goal. So we're so flipping over the laboratory for the enforcer and then sending the enforcer to the lab and then telecom. Ooh, that's convenient. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, I'm gonna go to the archives, two attaches, and I'm gonna go to the market and turn one of those in for a med kit and a communicator. And I'm gonna go to the tailor and spend a dollar. I only get one disguise. Disguise has gotten expensive. There's been <laughs> a rush. All right, so I will repeat modern. I like Marie Curie discovers radium, 1898. So I'm repeating here. You have to put your events in chronological order. So that's why he had to put that there. I assume that that's the date. Yep. And because one's on the end, he had to slide it down that way. If you had them in the middle, you could slide to either one, but just the way he has it arranged, that's why he had to do it that way. So pay the time jam, pay my, don't have to pay that. because I pay one less and camera. Got my money. All right, move number one. <laughs> Let's see. I will rotate, but before I do, doesn't cost anything and I get two side jobs. All right, and I will rotate my Great London Fire. So now that makes me eligible again for my goal. And I'm going to revise a modern. Pay my time gem. I get two things, but I'm gonna do the camera, which costs two things again. So revising this and it's 1890. So I'm gonna push the Great London Fire to the side a little bit more. Uh, and the invention of the camera, Kenny, is 1890 green, but... And I could affect the you. War. But I'll flip the green tiles. And I'll get $3. So I revised. One, two, three. So that was a pretty good move. He's caught up. Telecoms, blue. We are doing the invention of the wheel, which rotates this back from me. So now I'm one goal away again. And rotates one of mine, right? Cause that didn't come before. 3500 BC. Yep. And that actually helps me. Hmm. Now suddenly Lee went from no goals to three goals. Hmm. Hospital revise is happening. Right. One go away and it's just gotta flip it. So he's gotta end it on his next turn if I don't do something. Unless, <sighs> I don't know, let's see. Can I do, can I do anything? Yeah, just. <laughs> just give up. <laughs> uh, never. Never. I'm gonna go to headquarters first and get a time jam because obviously I gotta get to my time machine. You can only get your time machine from headquarters. So now I have two actions to take with this and this. It's not bad. Just gotta think about, is there anything I can do? I think if I get my side job and that middle ages and the modern, I think I can win a point. So it'll be up to him if he wants to end it if he thinks he can beat me in points. So let's let's see how this goes. I'm gonna do revise Middle Ages. I'm gonna do the Moai, which costs me one med kit, one attache, one communicator. Camera I'm getting from here. So that's 1250 cultural. 
revising. So took that away from him, so that's good. I get four dollars for that. I'm gonna turn in a one to I'm get a five. Flip. Yes, flip those. Green. That didn't really affect anything there, but it hurt him, so that's good. And I got a side job for that, so that's what I wanted. So that gave that gave me eight points. That was pretty good. Go here. One cost me one, and I'll get one, but I still have one from here. I'm going to get a communicator, my second one of those. Now, this is the highest scoring one. I'm going to repeat this one because this will automatically rotate it for me. So I'm going to do one, two, pay one less gun, and communicator. Okay, and then I get $3 for that. One, two, three. Not there yet, but if can do that on the next turn. Unless Lee tries to end it. Okay, I will go here. I can get a gun and a disguise. Pew, pew. Uh, and then I can rotate. Let's bring it back. That's one. Mm, and then I will revise a modern rise. Yeah, I get two. So I just need to pay one thing. So I'm revising a red military and this is 1916. So these all have to shift. Doesn't affect mine, but I will flip the reds. And I get three dollars. <sighs> that's gonna flip yours, and that's gonna and that end the game. Closes this to flip. Yep. All right. So Lee chose to see. How he thinks he can beat me in points. Since he caused the end game, that's the end of it. He doesn't get his last move. You still do the enforcer at the end. We don't need to flip the tiles or move them, but we will do the revise action, which is going to be this. Since Lee locked off his goals, nothing affects him, but this still affects me. But that actually helps me because I was using that as my strategy. And that's the end of the game. So now all that's left is to add up the score. I think I did pretty good, although it will be close. All right, so when it comes time to add up your final score, got to pull out a little calculator. First thing you want to do is you want to go through your events. So I have six plus five plus six plus five plus five. So in my events, I have 27 points for my events. And the number's touching the time machine. Yeah, the no one's touching the time machine. Yep. What do you got? I got 27. Ooh, tied. <laughs> yeah, then you count up your upgrades. One, two, three for me. Time locks, but no one got any time locks this game. That's surprising, but no time locks. Then you're gonna do one point for every $5. So I have three there. And you do one point for every three resources. I don't have any there. Uh-oh, Lee took a one point lead. Mm. <gasps> then you add up two for every goal complete. So I only have six, which I knew that Lee was gonna have more in there. Then you add up from your side jobs. I have two, four, six. I have more than Lee on that one. So I have 45. 47. He beat me again. I needed that one more round. A, you took the card I wanted because I wanted to get the SOM on my next turn. You... And then I would have gotten this, this side job. Yeah, a lot of, you know, ah! <laughs> so that was a new playthrough. You could see the new mat that we had. We had the new changes for the enforcer mechanic where you had the different actions that the enforcer takes. A couple other different little changes here along the way that you could see. So we hope that we gave you a new idea of how you play Time Lancers. If you watch the other playthrough, Compare it to this playthrough. Let us know what you think of the changes. If you've been able to play it on Tabletop Simulator, give us some feedback, let us know. Our Kickstarter is coming on October 24th, so make sure you check it out. If you want to see any of our other Time Lancers content, check out the links in the description below. And as always, if you're enjoying our content, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, I'm Lee. And I'm Kenny. I go party like a board gamer. Time Lancers is a time travel themed set collection board game that utilizes worker movement and resource management. It's designed for one to four players ages 12 and up and takes about 45 minutes to an hour to complete a traditional game.